Hi there and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, user edit custom dimensions when you are using them with uh, parameters and how you can debug that out. So I got this idea coming from a client of mine. So the typical use case, the following one, um, is that um, when someone's going to click on an email or newsletter, it's going to reach the website, uh, the identifier, so let's say the user ID plus any additional custom dimension that you would like to link to this given uh, user will be sent uh, to Matable. And uh, the URL of my client are in fact similar to this one when you get a parameter name, for example, here ID and then another parameter named nationality and uh, how you can push that out to uh, Matomo. So the first thing to note is actually here the ID parameter is really different from the one which is uh, within the documentation. So here you have the underscore ID which correspond to the visitor ID and probably when you have an identifier such as this one which allows you to um, identify personally one uh, given user, you want to use what we call the UID, which is the user ID. So to say, if within your parameter, you don't have something like this, uh, it won't work, okay? Uh, Matomo won't be able to identify, so you will need to find a system in order, so you can put it more like this ID, uh, you will need to find a system in order to match this given ID to this uh, given parameter. In fact, that's the same thing here for nationality. You will need to find a system in order to match the word nationality with uh, the parameter expected by Matomo, which is the custom dimension, which is dimension something in my case. Okay, so uh, let's uh, get started. So I have my website. On my website, I have the tag manager, which is installed. I have nothing in my tag manager yet. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to add my uh, my simple Matomo tag. Uh, so nothing crazy here. It's just going to be the Matomo analytics. I'm just going to create uh, the configuration tag. Um, that's it. And I'm just going to decide that it's going to be on every page which is viewed. Okay, so nothing crazy here. I just publish my tag and I just publish my container. So let's say I'm going to just call it first tag. Okay, nothing crazy. I'm just going to double check that it works. So uh, now it should have been published. So if I go on my visit log, I should see at least one visit for this given day. So let's refresh the page and abracadabra, I probably get my first visit. Okay, so at least Matomo is working. Okay, and now uh, what I want is actually to push those data. So if I do something like this, what you will see is nothing will be crazy. Okay, I will just get another um, action count here with the question mark. And now the big question is how can I transform that out into um, a user ID and into uh, a custom dimension. Not though that uh, you may be interested in removing uh, this parameter thing from your URL. That's uh, also possible thanks to another option that I will uh, show you later if I don't forget. Okay, so let's uh, let's work around. So how do I change my ID over here to a user ID? So in order to do so, you go over here in Matomo and you create what we call a variable and this variable will be based on the URL parameter. And in fact, these are URL parameter, right? You see ID, this is a URL parameter and nationality is as well a URL parameter. So we go over here and we create, uh, we create um, a custom variable. So choose a variable to continue, create a new variable. Um, and it's going to be uh, URL parameter. Uh, you can give it the name that you want, doesn't really matter, but in my case, I'm just going to uh, give it a name which is explicit. In my case, it's ID. Okay. I'm going to create another one which is named, um, which is named nationality. So could it be as well a URL parameter and it's nationality. nationality. It has to be, oops, for this one. This one has to be exactly the same. Oops, the same as the one that you take over here. Right? So better to do a copy and paste. 
Okay, so now I'm having my two um, URL parameter. So uh, what's going to happen next is that I need to go within uh, my um, within my variable of Matomo because here is my tag. Okay, here is my tag, and within my tag, I get the Matomo configuration, and Matomo configuration correspond to this given tracking code enhanced with additional. Oops with additional lines of code, okay? So, when you play with the configuration variable in Matomo Tag Manager, it's like you are enhancing this tracking code with additional lines, such as the one that you can see here, which are uh, appearing, okay? This is what you are doing when you go over here and that you modify this given file named Matomo configuration. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna modify the Matomo configuration, which correspond to the one that you can see over here. Uh, so as well here, nothing crazy. It's just that you need to have the user ID because this is most of the time where you are uh, sending the information to. So in my case, I'm gonna pick up the ID over here. And uh, regarding the custom dimension here, you need, of course, to have the custom dimensions on. So in my case, I need to go over here and I need to activate the custom dimension. So here I have the choice to choose either at the action level or at the visit level. In my case, uh, the nationality of a given individual is not going to change uh, every page that uh, she or he is going to look at. So it's, of course, based on the visit. So uh, here I can call it as I want. That will be the name of my report. I just call it nationality in my case, and the ID is number two. So I can go back uh, over here and can say index number two, and then I can go over here and say that's going to be the nationality parameter that I want to have. Okay, uh, so here we are all good uh, and set. It's just that I have one concern. Uh, the point is that here, as you can see, the tag is configured in order uh, to be loaded every time that a new page is viewed. So I guess that the best uh, way uh, to, let's say, to handle it is really to say page view with, let's say, ID and nationality parameter. If not, if you have some other parameters within your URL at some point, within your website, what's going to happen is um, that you will have uh, the user ID which will be browsed and as well uh, you will get other issues so that's why I'm gonna, just going to say and uh, if you get a uh, page URL which contain uh, the parameter ID at least the word ID or the word nationality then apply this given tag if not don't do it and of course uh, if I had the general Matomo tracking code on my website, I would like to have the opposite as a trigger, which say, okay, do not match, um, when it does not match this given condition, please um, do not fire it. Okay, so we are all good. I'm not 100% sure about this one, but let, let's see how it goes. Okay, um, and uh, now we're gonna go back on our website. So I'm just gonna pick up those. I'm just gonna ensure that I published my tag manager Oops, sorry for that where I was okay was over here so I'm just gonna publish my new version so publish okay uh, with IDs with IDs okay just publish it and uh, let's go for it oops so I'm just gonna Start it back. Um, so now I could have used the preview and debug mode in order to ensure that it's working, but I'm I don't know why, but I'm pretty confident it's gonna work. Um, so visit log and okay, so I get run and I get the nationality French, so I'm happy. Okay, that's uh, that's that's good. Um, so if I visit another page, uh, nothing should happen. So I'm gonna visit this given page. I don't have a parameter again. Um, so nothing should be recorded. Oh, wow, okay, that's great, it works. Um, so this is where you need to, let's say, define what you really want. So for example, here I could add another uh, another Matomo analytics tag. 
mm -hmm. like this um, and I can define the opposite the opposite which is uh, when it does not contain uh, where it is where it does not contain does not match the regular expression which is id or nationality this what i'm doing is just a security um, without id and nationality but i even think that actually you could just trigger it uh, without this uh, given condition just because there are few chances that you will have additional parameter on your website okay new version Oops. and um, so normally what should happen now and this is where the debug mode can be quite handy da, da, da. yep like this because now if i load this given page what i should see is that i get no tags fired for this condition but i get this one which is fired so now i get exactly what i wanted the full pass of my given uh, visitor even if it's oops even if it's accessing back to this given url okay and last but not least um let's see if i can as well debug a little bit and remove those parameters from the url by still keeping the information so in order to do so you need to click over here yeah it's um it's a measurable i think so it's a manage and here i need to um say okay exclude parameters and here you can say enter the list of url query parameter one per line to exclude from the page url report oh okay one per line um okay it's support trick so the idea here to say it's when it's about nationality or when it's about id i want you to remove those parameters and what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to change that out i'm going to say that barbara is going to come and barbara is um i don't know she's from south africa so nationality i'm going to say south Africa, which is not a nationality it's a country but let me give it a try anyway um so like this okay sorry get id barbara nationality south africa and let's see if it's gonna appear as a parameter oops so i'm gonna go for this one this one and here okay here you see it's interesting because the parameters have been stripped out and then Barbara is still recorded and she's coming from South Africa. And that's it uh, for today. So I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, video. Thanks for watching.